And uh, now, if you could remain <laughs> in the state for the Christchurch City Council Public Art Advisory Group, and that is what Paul is here for, <laughs> not, well, not for the museum. I just threw you onto the museum trust board by you. accident. So, thank you. Cool. Well, thank you again um, for, for hearing us here. Yeah, this is a presentation on behalf of the Public Advisory Group. Um, I'm the chair of that group. Um, Paul's a uh, member of it as a council representative, and shortly I'll um, show you the other membership, um, all of whom apologise that they can't be here in support today, but, but are, um, have been part of putting this presentation together. So what is a uh, Public Art Advisory Group? We were established by council in 2007. Um, there was a decision of council at that time to involve the private sector in the group, um, and part of council's intent was to keep artistic decisions at arm's length, um, which I think has mostly been um, a wise um, a wise aim. Part of that involving the private sector was to have two appointees from the then Art and Industry Biennial Trust, now trading as Scape Public Art, and one of those two appointees was to be chair, and that's how um, I got onto the group along with Dame Adrian Stewart. Um, and there are a range of other council skills and other skill sets um, available on the membership of the group. So our current membership is um, set out up here. I won't read out all of the names, but you can see um, the range of people. We've been very pleased to add in um, uh, Māori and artist and Ngaitahu uh, representation uh, more recently. And Deborah McCormick, um, director of uh, SCAPE, is a, um, a key member in attendance. Our goals are threefold, to champion, encourage and commission public works of art in Christchurch, um, secondly to administer the Public Art Fund, and thirdly where practical to achieve one-to-one -one or better funding from other sources to augment the annual council grant. And our, our goal in terms of location of art um, to date has been strongly in the central city and at the um, arrival and welcome points to Christchurch, the airport, the port, the uh, motorway entrances and things like that. Um, we presented to Council um, shortly after the earthquakes with the great news that all of the public art that had gone up from the Public Art Advisory Group had survived. So I'm just going to race through um, the key works um, up there on screen. So Phil Price's uh, Nucleus, uh, Regan Gentry's Flower Power, um, recently relit at night, which is wonderful to see. Passing Time, which was a, um, a joint project with now the ARA Institute to mark its centennial, and all the numbers there reflect various dates through its 100-year history, CPIT's 100-year history. Um, Paul Dibble's um, pair of sculptures on the plinth of the MacDougall, um, uh, with a, a fancy title, in Nohora de Kiriko, that I have to keep looking up each time because I haven't learned it off by heart yet, but they were temporarily moved to the uh, new art gallery over the road uh, for a number of years, and the Public Art Advisory Group sponsored their return to the plinths outside the McDougall, which they were originally commissioned and designed for. Um, you'll be aware of uh, Julia Morrison's Tree Houses for Swamp Dwellers. Um, this was designed as a movable major public work of art um, to be moved um, to activate new areas in the redevelopment and um, regeneration of the city. And it's recently moved to the banks of the Otakaro, um, just near the, the refurbished town hall. Uh, the 21 streetlights of Misha Kubal's solidarity grid, grid mm. um, along the banks of, um, of the Otakaro in Park Terrace and Rolleston Avenue. Um, a tremendous international act of solidarity with Christchurch following the earthquakes. Uh, the pair of Anthony Gormley structures, um, sculptures, uh, one in the Avon and one in the cloisters of the Art Centre. Uh, Michael Parakofi is uh, commonly called the Bull, um, but Chapman's Homer is its, um, its proper title. Um, the wonderful uh, big spherical Neil Dawson work um, at the uh, centre, northern centre of the um, uh, entrance to the city on the motorway. Um, more modestly, a, a beautiful small work by Virginia King in the Ngaitahu development on the King Edward Barrett site. So they're just, those are some of the things that uh, were in our first 10-year annual plan that have been successfully achieved and survived the earthquakes. Some of the current projects we're working on, there's crowdfunding underway for David McCracken's Diminish and Ascend to uh, replace it as a, as a permanent work in its current location in the Botanic Gardens. It's only on temporary foundation, so work is underway uh, with crowdfunding to support that. 
Um, you will have been involved perhaps in the unveiling uh, during this year's scape of um, Nathan Puyo's Raise the Anchor um, in Little Hagley Park, uh, lit at night, um, a beacon that, enters, uh, that welcomes you into the central city um, as you come along um, uh, Dean's Avenue. We have some pipeline projects we're working on. Um, we want to return uh, Skylands, a Neil Dawson work that's in storage. We want to return it to the public realm. Um, we've been working with Christchurch's Tongan community um, on a new work. Um, this is an artist rendition. It's for Raora Park, um, and it's called Vaka Ahina. It's, it's about five stories high, so it's a major new work by Samisi Potoini. Um, and a selection process is underway for a major new public work at the Cranford Street roundabout where the uh, new uh, motorway extension will come into Christchurch and there are some stunning proposals in the mix for, for that. Um, we are aware that um, we have uh, the agreement of the late artist Bill Colbert to reinstate Blue, one of the first works that Scape um, produced in the year 2000. So we want to bring that back to it the... It was saved from the Convention Centre. It was on the Convention Centre and it's been saved and we want to put it back on the facade of the Art Gallery, which is probably the best glass facade to, oh, to put it on. And just a snapshot of our financial results, I don't expect you to read this, but the bottom line is that for the 2.1 million of council funding that we received over the 10 year period, we raised an additional uh, 6.58 million. Um, so we've, we've basically given the city $8.7 million worth of, of public art for, um, for your $2.1 million grant. We uh, recently renew, uh, reviewed our 10-year ten ten plan at the completion of the, of the period. And just a few key points. Um, we'd achieved everything that we set out to, to do in that plan. Rather surprised us that we uh, had done that because we were thought, thought we were pretty audacious with some of our uh, national and international artist aims and our million dollar projects, etc. cetera. Um, but we saved up and we got a lot of matched funding. Um, in fact, we exceeded our expectations there. It was never below uh, $1 for $1, $1 of yours for $1 raised. Um, the average across all the projects was um, $3.25 raised for every dollar from council. And in some projects, it was even as high as $6 raised for $1 of council money. Um, I just want to acknowledge Skate Public Arts' contribution to the work we do. Um, it couldn't be done without, um, without Scape's contribution. It's been a terrific partnership for us. Um, they've provided the operational funding and capacity to really um, get the rubber hitting the road. Um, so as I said, we, we couldn't have achieved it without that partnership. And um, she's not here, but I'd like to pay a tribute to Deborah McCormick and her trustees yeah. and small team for the sterling work that they have done over the, uh, over the uh, mm -hmm. 10 years. In terms of looking forward, we are working, um, including with some council staff, on developing a new 10-year plan. We want to build on the critical mass um, that we've already achieved. We want to capture some of the new demographics of the city, um, particularly more cultural diversity and more inclusivity. And we remain committed to um, the one-to-one -one, um, fundraising or better. So um, our submission to you um, is that we would like to keep up the momentum that we have achieved. Um, we have run out of funding. Um, uh, you, you stopped our funding um, uh, a bit over a year ago. We are requesting the reinstatement of a modest amount, much less than we were getting before, of 180,000 for the 2019-2020 year, um, which will be a bridging, um, will bridge the gap through to when we apply for the next 10 years funding as part of the long-term plan next year. And those funds will be applied to a combination of reinstating some of the existing works that I showed you, some of those works that are pipeline works, um, and the potential for some pretty exciting uh, new works, some kick-starting kick -starting funding for that. So thank you very much, and we're happy to answer any questions you may have. 55 seconds, um, Vicky. Skylines, where are you going to put it? Uh, it, we haven't got to that. We've got okay. no money to put it anywhere at the moment, <laughs> so <laughs> we, we won't expend energy unnecessarily finding um, locations. It is but beautiful. Yanni. But yeah, thanks. Um, just quickly, have you talked to CCD, or oh, sorry, Otakaro, about the money that they've got for public art? Oh, no, and that's been transferred to us, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't isn't know. I think it's taken care of. Yeah, yeah. So it's taken care of. Can and that we, money we, be we've, used we've, we've done an agreement you? with SCAPE. Is that right? 
Mm. Yeah. Right. So it's not the PAG group, it's a SCAPE group. No, SCAPE. So it was what? SCAPE that we've done. So why wouldn't yeah. it go to the PAG group? No, no, well, it's, a, it's the same it's thing. It's one of the same. We will work we all together. Work together. Yeah. So it's, all I'm trying to understand is, like, there's some money there. You're coming and saying we need money. We don't have any. No, 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 no. And that's, I'm just trying that's to understand separate. That, that was money for the Art used. River Trail, yeah. and it's been committed. Crown committed it, and it is to assist with the projects um, to bring things to the river. So that some things are being relocated, and some things um, are being commissioned, right. as I understand it. But a lot of what you've shown us is actually along the river. No, I don't. Uh, no, in, in, in broad terms, yes, but not the in the narrow the terms that no. Otakaro's money is. The has Otakaro to be money to. was very explicit. Central government made a decision to go down this track. It was to be funded by, um, oh, surprise, surprise, philanthropy. So um, we've got the 200,000, I think, it's just been transferred to the council or it's on its way. So that, that's a separate matter, Yani. Okay. But thank you very much. Um, I think you've done an extraordinary job for, um, for the amount of contribution, um, the, the, the return on the investment for the city has been extraordinary. And uh, somebody's just asked me for what was my favourite piece of public art, and you started with it, which was Phil Price's Nucleus, because I remember that one. But I was at the opening of Blue as well, so I just think uh, um, what you've done for the city has been extraordinary. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.